When you look at this, you might think, what is it? It looks like a box, but what does it do? Well, I'm here to tell you that this is much, much more than a simple box. This is a spectrophotometer. A spectro what? I know, it's a tricky word. It's called a spectrophotometer. Spectrophotometer. So, what does it do? Well, sometimes we need to identify or find out how much of something is in a substance. A spectrophotometer can help us find out. A UV-vis spectrophotometer performs optical spectroscopy, which is a method that investigates how light interacts with matter in the ultraviolet and the visible range of light. UV-vis spectroscopy is used in many different industries, in areas such as research, production and quality control to study and classify different substances. I have the perfect example to help you become better acquainted with this technique. <sighs> Coffee, tea, energy drinks, soft drinks, the world runs on caffeine. Well, the Food and Drug Administration, known as the FDA, has set requirements on how much caffeine is permitted in certain drinks. If we don't know how much caffeine is in our drink, we may end up looking like this poor lady who has clearly had way too much. As consumers, we want to have just the right amount of caffeine in our drinks. In addition, the manufacturers have to operate within the appropriate legal requirements. So how can these amounts be measured? With a UV vis spectrophotometer, of course. Let me explain. Take our sample here in the cuvette. There is a linear relationship between how much light is absorbed, A, and the concentration, C, of the absorbing sample. This relationship is called the Lambert-Beer law. Other constant parameters in the Lambert-Beer law are the path length, D, and a factor called the extinction coefficient, E, which is specific to each substance. Furthermore, the absorbance value A is inversely proportional to T, which is the light transmitted through the sample. To cut a long story short, the higher the concentration of caffeine in a sample, the more light that is absorbed. First, we place the cuvette containing the sample into the spectrophotometer. Luckily for us, the Metalitolido UV-Vis spectrophotometer has a pre-programmed method for measuring caffeine concentration, which easily guides us through the required steps. Inside the spectrophotometer, a xenon lamp directs a beam of light through the cuvette, and the sample in the cuvette absorbs particular wavelengths. The light that isn't absorbed, the transmitted light, passes through the cuvette and is first diffracted and then directed onto the detector. This setup allows us to measure and view the spectrograph on the instrument terminal in only two seconds. The spectrograph shows the absorbance values of that sample for the whole range of wavelengths within the ultraviolet and visible regions. Using the pre-programmed calibration curve, which shows absorbance at a particular wavelength against concentration, when we know the amount of light absorbed by the sample at that wavelength, we can determine the concentration. Brilliant! But what if we want to measure caffeine, but we only have a tiny amount of sample? Well, that's easy. We use a microvolume spectrophotometer. The Metla Toledo UV5 Nano Spectrophotometer combines two instruments in one for both microvolume and standard cuvette measurements. With this instrument, we can pipette a tiny amount of sample directly onto the platform. Only one microliter is required for reliable measurements. This time, the light can go through the cuvette as before or be diverted to the microvolume platform, as you can see in this video. 
Lockpath technology within the arm of the UV5 Nano allows a fixed path length of either 1mm or 0.1mm to be maintained. Once again, after running the caffeine method, the UV Viz spectrograph is displayed on the instrument terminal. So, I've just given you an example using caffeine, but really the microvolume instrument is the perfect tool for life science applications. The UV5 Nano contains an extensive library of predefined life science methods, including DNA and protein concentration determination, and also a well known bio application called OD600. Now you know how to use one, let's have a look at the Metla Toledo range of UVVis spectrophotometers. All our instruments are fast, accurate, reliable and simple to use. And as you can see, they all have a really small footprint. Our UV5 offers one-click easy operation, a variety of direct measurement types and a full spectrum scan in just one second. The UV7 provides superior optical performance, pharmacopoeia compliance and fulfills FDA regulations. The UV5 Bio is ideal for cuvette-based measurements in life science. It contains ready-to-use bio applications and application-specific accessories are also available. Finally, the UV5 Nano offers micro-volume measurements for life science, lock path technology for accurate path length and double application power. We also have LabX PC software, which provides automatic data handling, high process security and a sophisticated graphical editor for spectra evaluation. I hope you've learnt a bit more about UV-Viz spectrophotometers and how they can help us to identify or determine the concentration of a substance. So, next time you enjoy your favourite caffeinated beverage, just think of the spectrophotometer that probably helped to identify just the right amount of caffeine.